Hi and welcome to this new video and in this video we're going to move on from hovering because once you can keep the quad in, in, a, in a confined area and then you can move the quad wherever you want it then from a hovering point of view apart from doing things like hovering nose in which is all about being able to get your brain to work out how to switch around and move the sticks differently to what you're seeing and generally you wouldn't put yourself in that situation with a with a mini quad unless it was something you were specifically trying to learn so and I would recommend that if you are going to try and learn nose, something like nose in hovering you do learn it on the sim first because it's by far the safest place to do it you can have a lot of accidents hovering nose in in real life with a real quad so absolutely master it on the sim first before you try it in real life. I will do a video on it later on but it's not something that I feel is necessary to be able to generally fly a quad around. If you can keep a quad in a confined space in a hover and you can move it to where you want it in a tail in position or rear props towards you position then that's good enough for hovering and we can now move on to looking at other areas of flight. And the next area of flight really is is learning to fly a circuit with the quad. Now the thing about learning to fly a circuit, if you fly a circuit, is that when you do a circuit with a quad, and I do one now, there is a point in the circuit where the, the quad is going to come towards you and the controls are going to be reversed and then it's going to go past that point and then go around the rest of the circuit and at this point when you're looking at the back of it you're comfortable you're comfortable, 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 getting uncomfortable, very, very uncomfortable, extremely uncomfortable, and then coming comfortable again, comfortable, yeah, I know where I am again because the tail or the rear props are now towards me and all the controls are working in the correct direction. And the problem with just trying to fly a circuit straight away is this bit. It's the bit when the quad is facing you because the controls reverse and all kinds of horrible accidents can happen. So how do we get into flying circuits without going through that nasty position where you're going to have the quad coming directly towards you? Well, the way we do that is with a manoeuvre called a lazy eight. It's a figure eight and the turns on the figure eight are always away from you so you're always turning the quad away from you rather than towards you so I can demonstrate that so if we take off and we go off to the left here we're going to go out and we're going to go around this cone and I'm basically turning away from myself and then I'm going to come past myself but only ever really be side on so I'm not really going to lose orientation and then I'm going to go around the other quad and turn away from myself so you go out and then come past yourself so you don't ever really turn it completely nose in towards you and then turn away and out again go around and then basically fly it past you and then out and away from yourself again and then fly it past you so the reason we do it this way is because we're never getting into a situation where we're having to turn all the way through the props towards you position where the controls reverse. We're trying to keep the quad in an orientation where our brain isn't having to flip around and say, well, oh, you know, which way do I push the stick now? The quad is staying in a reasonably familiar orientation throughout the manoeuvre and therefore we don't get into that scenario where we can get all mixed up as to which way the sticks are supposed to be pushed and end up in a horrible crash. So that's a lazy eight and that's getting us used to flying the quad around and making turns in line of sight. Okay so that's that's it for this video. It's a very very simple maneuver. You fly it very very slowly, don't get the quad too fast. What you don't want to do is fly it too slowly and have the quad stop. So this is a danger area. So if you fly it too slowly just you know too tentative too tentative too slowly and then you kind of come around and then you're going to come past yourself and you kind of end up here flying really slowly and then it stops and all of a sudden you're in a nose in position and getting really confused so it's very very key that you just kind of keep it moving 
keep a reasonable pace on the quad so you don't have a situation where it stops so that you fly through that slightly unfamiliar position back to the familiar so you just want to keep it moving you know you want to fly through that unfamiliar position and then back to the familiar like so okay so that's the beginnings of learning to circuit with a quad and that's it for this video and I'll see you on the next one